Hello, Paul Gabriel here for another installment of Ask ZBrush. So we had the question sent in to us, what's the most efficient way to export a mesh from Maya Lite with crease information into ZBrush? So I, I want to start first with exporting the model from ZBrush into Maya Lite. So there's two ways we could export the model from ZBrush that will support the creasing in Maya Lite. The first one is just exporting a Maya file. So we can go to our tool palette, click on our export, and then in the options, we're gonna go down to our maya.ma, which is an ASCII file. We'll call it cube, that's good, and save that out. The other way is in the plugins using our FBX importer exporter. So this is new to ZBrush. So what's really great about this FBX is there's many things that can import and export with this file extension. So we support a binary and ASCII export. We're supporting from 2009 to 2014. So you can see by clicking on this button, I can say what FBX am I importing, exporting. We can convert all of our layers to blend shapes. So when that goes into Maya, automatic we'll have our blend shapes ready to go. You can export the model to be all triangles. You can even embed your displacement, normal, and texture maps. So whatever is on display in either one of these three menus here will actually be put in the FBX file. And then when you go open that in your other application, it'll all load there, everything set to go. Let's just export the normal FBX here because we just want to support creasing. So I'm going to hit export. We've got an X FBX with the cube and hit save. All right, we're done with ZBrush. Now let's go into Maya and let's import those files. Okay, here we are in Maya. So let's just file and we'll import. And you can see both files are there now. You got a cube FBX and a cube.ma. So let's start with the Maya file. We'll import that. You can see we get exactly the same thing that's in ZBrush. So I'm just gonna select this and hit the one key and you can see that it's the cube. Two will smooth it and three will smooth it again. You can see that the harsher green lines in Maya are the indicator of a creased file. So let's delete that and now let's import the FBX. And you can see we get the exact same thing. So now we need to export this from Maya Lite into ZBrush. So let's select our creasing tool here and select an edge that we can crease. So I'm just going to click on that edge and middle mouse drag and start creasing that edge. You're going to see what happens when we start creasing that edge. You're going to get the node over here, polycrease one. So you see there's crease edges in here and you can see all the values are sitting at a thousand. So this is important. We need to make sure all creasing values are sitting at a thousand in Maya before we export. Because Maya actually will have a range of creasing. So you can have like 25% crease, 50% crease. ZBrush doesn't have that. It's 100% creased or not creased. So we need to make sure when we're exporting that we tell this edge needs to be 100% creased. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and select our mesh. And we're going to export now. So we're going to file. We're going to export. I'm going to click the little box here to get our options. So I'm going to export an FBX. You can see the only options in Maya Lite are Maya LT, FBX, and OBJ. So we need to do an FBX. I'm going to click on our edit presets. And now this is important. We're going to go to our advanced options and we're going to open up our FBX file format. So you can see here there's a binary and an ASCII. So ZBrush does support both, but currently does not support FBX 2016. So I need to click on this and say what year of FBX I want Maya Lite to export. So again, we support from 2009 to 2014. So I'm just going to hit the 2014, 2015. I'm going to click Save Preset, and then I'm going to save this ZBrush. I'm going to go ahead and enter. I already have this preset in my computer, so I'm telling it to go ahead and override. And now you can see this preset's here, so every time I can say what preset I want. Okay? So we're going to close that. We're going to go ahead and export it, and we'll call this the Maya Cube. All right, that's exported. Now let's go ahead and get back into ZBrush and let's import our file now. So we're going to go to our plugin and we're going to now click the import in our FBX, grab that Maya Cuba file and hit open.
and then there you go. So now we've got this cube again, right? And then if we smooth it, we got the same thing that we got in Maya. And here I'll up my dynamic subdivs a little bit more so you can really see that smooth. So you can see this is how we can go back and forth between ZBrush to Maya Lite and Maya Lite to ZBrush. This would also work for a full version of Maya. Thank you for watching and please continue to send in your questions to our Twitter account with the hashtag AskZBrush. Thank you and happy ZBrushing.